morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different compared to obviously a regular uh, Skyline video. Um, today we're going to be fabricating a stainless steel snorkel for my friend Hayden's uh, 2000 and don't quote me on the year, I'll find out soon, uh, RC Colorado. So now we're going to be making the Australia's first short entry stainless steel snorkel. So now for the, a, lot of the, a lot of the snorkels are get made by uh, various companies. Um, none of them actually going to enter the guard where we're going to put Hayden's. So now some some companies put them right in at the front of the guard. Another people, another company actually goes in the middle of the guard, above the above pretty much the center of the wheel. So I'm going to go get some breakfast. If you're Australian, you'll know that what we do for breakfast we have meat pies. So that is one of my favorite things to have for breakfast. So I'll uh, see you in a minute. Good old steak, bacon, and cheese pie for breakfast, and an ice break. Best combo there is. I just got home already, and uh, my mate Hayden's already here. So we'll go and say good day to him, and we'll uh, we'll show you what's going on. Good day, mate. Hey. How are you? So this is uh, my mate Hayden. This is his uh, 2008. And tell me a little bit about your Colorado here, mate. Um, so I've had it for about two years now. Um, been to glass house a couple of times gone through a couple of bog holes and I think it's time for a snorkel. So what are we doing today mate? Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a stainless steel short entry snorkel. It's going to go in about here. So tell us about where everyone else seems to put their snorkels when they make these ones. So on the Colorado page a lot of the, a lot of the guys out there are doing the long entry snorkel here just so it can go straight through the air box which is just here. Um, but yeah we're, we've, we're deciding to change it up a little bit and go short entry just to just keep it nice and clean and nice and neat. Beautiful. All right, mate. Well, you heard it from here, us first. So we're going to be making hopefully Australia's first short entry snorkel, as Hayden said. It's going to be coming in up there near the guard. So I'm going to get it changed, and we'll get stuck into it. Alrighty, so as you can see Hayden and I have just got the guard off the Colorado so now pretty much this is your factory intake which goes straight into the airbox which is uh, just there. Um, so some people go through pretty much here which is where in-house goes. Obviously it goes in the center pretty much of the wheel here. Uh, he makes like a 90 bracket that obviously turns this 90 then it runs through here into the airbox. So now we're gonna obviously make ours come in up here this morning so Stay tuned, just wanted to get the guard off to obviously see what we've got obviously space wise hiding behind here and what we can do to make it work. So stay tuned guys and we'll be back very soon. Alright, so what we've got here is a bit of a 4 inch 316 stainless steel. Now, so you can get obviously a couple of grades. Now this is um, 316, you can buy 304 or 309. Um, now 316 marine grade or food grade has got the, um, the satin finish in it. So it's got the, the lines and then hopefully we're going to be able to make Hayden's snorkel is satin finish, so we're gonna go cut some of this up and we'll get started. Wait, first piece ready to go. Always fall down your edges, you don't want none of this shit here. Alright, cool. So what are we doing now? Alright mate, so what we're going to do, we're going to roughly get our, obviously our first piece, our rough length. Now this is just a, just a random piece because I'm actually going to use this for my pile which is over there. I actually made that snorkel myself but I'll show you that one a little bit later. Um, so yeah, pretty much I just cut roughly 830mm which is the length of the top post or the top tube on my snorkel. Um, so this might be hopefully the same, but if not, doesn't matter. I've got more over there as you just saw. So we'll get this um, pretty much underway. We'll work out where a hole's gonna go and we'll go from there. That's actually pretty much, that'll be pretty much on the money there, mate, I think. Hmm. It looks pretty spot on. 
but I'll just have to, um, yeah, we'll just see what we've got. So pretty much, yeah, it'll come in just there. So let's get stuck into it, mate. So uh, we've just marked out the guard using a uh, whiteboard marker here, um, just to get this uh, snorkel hole cut in the right place. Um, we've got a, a special stencil here at Simon's Fabrication that we've um, what we've done up. So um, just to make sure that it's perfect every time for every other RC Colorado we may do. So. All right, guys. So roughly what we've done now, um, we've found pretty much our rough estimate of where our hole's going to be. We've used the teardrop template, obviously off the Hilux guard there, um, which is just here, and it pretty much gives us a perfect shape for the four-inch snorkel to go in the guard itself. So now, pretty much, Hayden and I have roughly, obviously, pretty much just done this. We've roughly, obviously, eyed it up on the car compared to obviously the guard, and we're going to start by putting the hole in the guard. Now the problem with this is once you do this you are committed. Now I don't have a four inch um, obviously a four inch hole saw but I've got, I don't know how big this is. Well I've got this big, so this is big enough. Mm. Uh, which is actually, yeah, 64 millimeters. 64. So pretty much we're going to cut the hole in the guard. Be quiet man, I'm working. <laughs> um, and then we're going to tin snip the rest of it. So I don't recommend doing this but this is the way I did it on the Hilux and it came out pretty good. So. Stay tuned and we'll get started. Pretty much what he's saying is there's no going back now. <laughs> right guys, so we've got the uh, got the guard put back on now. So we've got our hole. So roughly this is pretty much where the snorkel is going to enter the guard. So pretty much at the rear, the rear of the wheel there. So this is our hole. Obviously it's going to come down, in, and run along into the air box there. So going to go and um, cut our first first bend, which actually comes from the, obviously the top piece. Now we've got roughly a template. Obviously this this is the whole snorkel so far. Just taped it. Just tape makes it easier to obviously find out what pieces fit where. So we're going to cut the next bend that goes in there and we'll go from there. Cheeky preview of what we've got in store. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so from what you could see before, from me obviously cutting and um, sanding things up, and this is the progress we've come from. So we've obviously found our hole, worked out what's going on behind the guard here, and then this is pretty much what Hayden and I have got pretty much sorted now. So four inch at the top, comes all the way down, we've got 45, another 45, then we've got to reduce from the four, three, all the way into like a 90 into the air box. So pretty much guys, this is what our stainless steel short entry snorkel looks like so far Australia's shortest entry snorkel <laughs> on the guard so as I said before some people have snorkels coming in here in the middle there and we're starting right at the back of the guard there so guys I'm gonna wrap um, obviously today up right here so this is day one um, now Hayden works um, uh, FIFO so obviously I can just work when he comes back and when I can have access to his car so this will be like a Obviously it'll all be in one video, it'll be different times of when obviously Hayden can work with me and I can work with Hayden. So this is the end of day one guys, so thank you for watching, I'll see you soon. He's here, the man himself is here, and his partner Sonia. G'day cock. How you going mate? Good thanks, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Are you, are you ready to see your snorkel? Yeah, I'm pretty keen. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to go and go in here and then I'll roll the door up. Yeah, let's That looks... Yes. You like that, mate? Yeah, I'm not bad, mate. Hey. Yeah? This man is a wizard. Mate. So, yeah, what do you think, mate? Out of 10? You happy with that? 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> awesome. As you can see, uh, Hayden saw his snorkel, so we're going to go outside and put it to the Colorado. I'll swap into there. You know how to work this bit out. <laughs> Can you bounce? Bounce. That's that. That's the guy. Does that still open there? Open the door, have a look. Yep. That is the 
places it in. If we can actually bring it closer. To the door? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's shed loads of room. Bring it down a bit. Yep. I'll bring it all the way. We want to go as close as we can because this gap gets exponentially bigger the further away that oh, is. Oh, of course. So, the closer we can have it to that door, even if it's like so close. But, Tom, what do you think? I reckon we've uh, got to do one more weld. Yep, so all we've got to do here is just, because this isn't a prick of a spot, we've just got to weld this pretty much in situ on the car as it is, and then that is pretty much done. So. We'll get that done, and then I'll show you a finished product. All right, guys, so now we're gonna do the final weld of the snorkel. Uh, we're just going to, we've got it tacked at the moment on the bracket, but uh, Tang's just gonna finish it up right now, so. Here we go. All right, let's, let's have a go, mate. Just like that, mate, we're done. Clear? All done. Oh, look at that. Can't see much, but it is done and on. Perfect. Sweet. You know what the next stage is now? And we'll uh, see how it looks. Actually, no, we can probably start it. We're gonna start it, mate. That's that's what I'm talking about. Let's hear this thing. Beautiful. <laughs> First start, eh? About to uh, kick her in the guts and have a listen. All right, fire it up. Ready to go? You can't hear a whole lot at the moment, mate. Yeah. Get down. Ooh, noisy boy. Right. <laughs> right, guys. So this is pretty much the end of um, the, the say we'll say three-day vlog. So this now is Hayden's four inch stainless steel snorkel for an RC Colorado. Now, if anyone's interested in getting one made themselves, either contact Hayden, because Hayden is gonna share the shit out of this video. Um, you can find me on Instagram. I'm not gonna post it, but if people obviously comment saying, saying that they want a snorkel, I'll get back to you. Don't worry about, you know, waiting. I'll just fire a message at you straight away. So, mate, I'm glad I could uh, help you out, make something that you've always kind of wanted. So, I'm glad that we come to a conclusion, this is what we made. So, thank you so much guys for watching. I'll, I'll see you in the next one.